Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another Circular Harvest video. Today we're going to teach you how you can contribute to a circular economy by growing beautiful mushrooms like this on nothing more than just newspaper. Growing on newspaper is very easy and it does not require any extra equipment like a sterilizer because during the process of making paper, all the nutrients that bacteria and mold would typically grow on are removed and the only substance left are lignin and cellulose which only mycelium really eats. Before we go any further, I do have to warn you that eating any mushroom you grow on cardboard or newspaper requires research on what type of ink is used in the print. Because if it is chemical inks, the chemicals could accumulate in your mushrooms and making them toxic. However, most places have transitioned to a plant-based ink, like soy, so it is safe to eat. So just make sure you either contact the newspaper company directly or look up provincial guidelines around newspaper production and you should be good to go. So with that being said, let's jump into it. To do this growing method, you're gonna need a newspaper, probably around 10 to 20 pages, a bowl of water, a grow bag, and grain spawn, which you can purchase on our website. I'll leave a link in the description. And also something to seal the bag, like an impulse sealer, or a zip tie, or even some clips like I'll show you in this video. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is shred the newspaper into thin strips like this. If you have a paper shredder, it would make this step a lot simpler and quicker. I don't, so I had to tear it by hand. I also decided to shred up one of our grow kit boxes and add it to the mix since all of our inks and labels on our boxes are compostable so they would be safe to eat as well. Once you've finished shredding up the paper and cardboard, you are going to want to fill a bowl of water and then soak that newspaper and cardboard in the bowl of water. This hydrates the material so the mushrooms can actually grow on it. Once you've let the newspaper and cardboard soak for about 5 minutes, you're going to want to drain off any excess water because if it's too wet, the mushrooms won't grow. So you, it's actually good practice to wring it out pretty well, just so the paper's still wet, but it's not sopping wet. So now that the newspaper and cardboard are at a good water level and they're not too wet, but also not too dry, and if you're familiar with the field capacity where you squeeze it and just a one or two drops can come out, that would be a good amount of moisture content. But now that it's all ready, you can start filling your grow bag by putting one layer of um, the newspaper mix down and then putting the mycelium on top of that and then continue to layer it until your bag is full like that. This helps make sure that the mycelium is evenly distributed at the bag and then you'll get full colonization. Once your bag is about two thirds of the way full, you can seal it shut by either folding it closed like this and clipping it, or zip tying it shut, or even using an impulse seal if you have one of those handy. And then you're gonna put it into incubation for about two weeks. It could be a little longer since there's no supplementation. And then here's what mine looked like after two and a half weeks. It was fully colonized, and then I slid a hole in it so it's ready to fruit. So after about three days and misting it three times a day, I had my fruit body starting to form, and then I just kept up with that watering schedule like a regular grow kit, and it was within about a week I had my first harvest. And again, it's a good reminder that the newspaper does not have as much supplement as a regular grow kit, so the yield will be a little bit smaller. But for growing on nothing more than just newspaper, which would otherwise end up in the garbage, you get a pretty good yield, and you also get to contribute to a circular economy, so it's a win-win. I hope you found this video interesting and useful so you can also divert waste from landfills by growing your own food at home. And as always, remember to check out our website for all your mushroom growing needs and please consider subscribing so we can keep bringing content like this to you.